Hello. I'm Sergeant of the Unt. You might have met me at other places. I get around a lot of different fey things. Uh, but for this one, I was at a Midwinter Night's Dream made by Larpex and Carcosa Dreams. It was good. It was it was like this big party all on the winter solstice and it took place through your through your magic tablet thing. And like we all came together in this one place like there'd been a terrible thing had happened like Oberon and Titania had been asleep for ages and we need to try to wake them up. And there were four great fey lords that all called us and we all got like sent a thing that showed us which one of our patrons was calling us. So I was called by Cobweb, because I got a little spider friend. Uh, so Cobweb was there, and Peas Blossom, and Mustard Seed, and Moth. And we all had like, also we were sent this whole box full of things along with our invites. We were sent these beautiful things that were all folded up, and then contained within them information about what had been going on in the Fey Courts and in the Fey Lands. And if you added it all up, then you could start to work out some of the story elements. And there were cool things, like there was little, little violets in a vial. And a cipher wheel, because some of the problems you had to do like by code. And this was the invite that we were sent. And then with all these things, all these little bits of paper, things about spring heel Jack, things about mysterious footprints that have been seen down in Devon. We had, we had details of court cases that had happened. And all sorts of interesting stuff to look through. So we did. We all poured through it and worked out what was going on and who had invited us. And then it came to the actual night. So there was a big dance floor area where there was this person laid down all these good tunes. And there were some good ones that I enjoyed dancing to. Then also there was like a cabaret area where different fey and humans that had been called to this party could perform. And then also... There were like four areas for the four different Fey Lords, so I spent a lot of time with Cobweb, my big spider boss. But also I went and I saw Mustard Seed quite a lot. Popped in on Peas Blossom and Moth, but yeah, most mostly those two. And then also there was the King and Queen's Bowers, Tarnia's Bower and Oberon's Bower, where they were sleeping. So you could go see them having their nap and try to wake them up. Not that anything I did did wake them up. And there was the library where you could go to try to figure out puzzles and stuff and get hints and clues. And there was a nice quiet woodland where you could go to have a bit of a rest. Might have been another one as well. But those were the main places. And you could see like who was in all of them because it was done via Zoom. Um, and then you could go join that breakout room. So yeah, had lots of fun going around and doing all the things. Chatting to Cobweb. And like poking into other lords and seeing what they were up to. And like all of the lords could set you a challenge, a task. And like that would then give you clues and so on that you'd go to and you'd read some stuff. And there'd be some sort of riddle involved or something that you'd then have to put in a bit of a word. And then that would lead you through to another thing and another thing. You'd build up all this information and this whole like overarching view of what the stories were that was going on. And then you could ask the fairies involved in it. I know you did this and this from that thing I read. So what was that about? So there was one thing where like mustard seed. Well, we knew that someone had swapped the uh, the stone of stone of Albi and the stone of Troy that had been bought to Britain by Brutus in order to found the country. It was in a place in London, and then had been swapped with a wheel of cheese, and then that cheese had been buried by Samuel Pepys. And like by reading through all the clues that were in the pack that was sent to us. And then also by seeing some of the stuff that you could go to through hunts, you could find out more and work out all the details of that. And then you could go confront Mustard Seed and say, so what was that about? And then Mustard Seed would explain why he did that thing with the cheese. And that sort of stuff. So it was good. There were lots of stories to dig out and uncover and that sort of thing. And then every so often, there'd be a time where we all had to go to the main area and we all had to vote. And you had to vote either for the Unseelie Court or for the Seelie Court. And obviously, like, Cobweb said that we should vote for, Se for Unseelie, so I was voting for Knight all the time. Um, and then at the end of it, it revealed that actually that was to decide who was going to be the boss now. Was it going to be Titania and Oberon? And it was all to do whether it was Unseelie or Seelie that was up on tops. Uh, but we got together. Loads of us Cobweb people were very loyal. When Cobweb told us to go off and vote, we went off and voted, and so that was good. And yeah, there was beautiful things to watch being performed. 
and there was great music being played and all those stories to uncover and it was good. I think like if I was going to add one thing it would have been something to like pull it together like we'd found out all this information and you could use that to dig out more information from the Fey Lords and stuff but some way that that led to them waking up I think would have been the ideal but I had a really good time I got to see loads of great people and have a great night and I'm now like fully immersed in all these stories and I want to know more and I kind of want to follow all of the clues and find all the hunts that I didn't do at the time and read everything possible um, so I had a great time and uh, night night everyone that I saw night night everyone that I didn't yet see and I hope you all have a great Midwinter Night's Dream. <laughs>